Hi guys, I hope you all are doing good. Today I want to show you how you can take the screenshots on your Chromecast with Google TV. Now you will come across a lot of guides to take screenshots on the Chromecast with Google TV but the problem that I saw with those guides was the wrong button guide. I mean some of those guides suggest to uh, set the home key of your remote to uh, take the screenshots on your Chromecast with Google TV but that is impractical and that is not going to work for you. So not only I am going to show you how you can take the screenshots, I am also going to show you which is the best key to configure to take the screenshots on your Chromecast with Google TV. And I'm also going to show you how you can send your taken screenshots to your smartphone or any other device. So I'm going to navigate through my Chromecast with Google TV using the Google Assistant and my remote. So don't confuse yourself if you see something happening on the screen. Uh, something magical happening on the screen. So uh, you have to install one application for this purpose and the name of that application is Button Mapper. You can find it for free in the Google Play Store. Just keep your eyes on the screen and follow me to the letter in order to be able to take screenshots on your Chromecast with Google TV. So here we go. First of all, we have to open the Google Play Store. Open Play Store. Opening Google Play Store. In the place where we have to find the button mapper application, button mapper. So this first application with four icons and the button mapper appearing on the right side is the one that you have to install. You can see that it's a free application. So just go ahead and install it on your Chromecast with Google TV. So the application has been installed. Now you can open it. And after opening the application, you have to give it the accessibility services access. For this, you can go to the settings and in settings, go to system, go to accessibility, go to the bottom in the accessibility settings and here click on enable and turn on the accessibility settings for the button mapper application. So the button mapper application is already open, but if you are confused from where you are going to open this application, you will find it under all the applications on your Chromecast with Google TV. You can see that it's right here. So you can see some buttons added here by default and you can see another option to add the buttons here. You can just click on add buttons here and now uh, on the add buttons click on this plus option and now click on the source key on your Chromecast with Google TV's remote. This is the source key for those of you who don't know. This key is the source key. This one right here. So press this source button. And you can see that the source button has now been added to the uh, button mapper application. So now we have to configure this key to take screenshots. Okay, so click on the configuration for this button and turn on the customize options first of all. So now you can see that we have three options. So the input key can take the screenshots if you press it once, double tap or long press. I prefer uh, taking the screenshots by long pressing the input key. The input key is not doing anything on its own, uh, which is why I have set this input or the source key to uh, taking screenshots on my Chromecast with Google TV. Okay, so click on this long press option here and go to the bottom and here you will find screenshot. Okay, so now that I have set it to screenshot, let's give it a try now long press this button i'm going to long press it you can see that it has taken the screenshot now okay so let's go ahead and take some more screenshots long press it again the screenshot has been taken you can see that these are pretty smooth screenshots nothing is coming in the way of screenshots no menu is popping up the chromecast with google tv is not going somewhere else so this is why you have to use the input or the source key of the remote because otherwise this key is not doing anything. You can in fact set this key to launch other applications as well or perform other actions on single or double tap. So the choice is completely yours. You are free to set it to whatever you want. Okay, so now we want to send these taken screenshots to the phone. For this, you will go to the Play Store once again. Let me launch the Play Store. Open Play Store. In the Play Store, you have to find this application called Send Files to TV. So let's go ahead and find this application, Send Files to TV. So this is the application Send Files to TV that you have to install. You can see that I have already installed it, which is why I can open it directly. But just in case you need to know which application it is, 
this is what it looks like so open this application after installing it on your tv and you have to install the same application on your phone as well now here click on send and after clicking on send you have to select the screenshots that you just took on your phone or any other files for that matter that you want to send to your phone click on screenshots here and go to the bottom you can see that the one minute ago screenshots are the ones that i just took right now for this tutorial long press the pad ok button for selecting these screenshots and now go to the top and click on this tick or the check mark button to send these files to your device okay so now you have to open the send files to tv application on your phone or any other device where you want to send the files to you can see that I have it installed on my phone and I will come here to the receive tab and it has also detected my phone right here. Uh, I am going to select my phone here. Let's see. Okay, so you can see that I have now received all these files right here. The second row is showing me the files that just landed in. So now I can open these files. So here we go. These are the screenshots that I just took on my TV and sent these to my phone. And this is all with taking screenshots on Chromecast with Google TV or any other smart TV which is powered by the Google TV operating system. I hope you guys found this video useful and liked it as well. If you found it good enough, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. I'll catch you in another video. Till then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.